Hi, let's talk about bioreactors. Bioreactors can be of different types and depending on the requirement, scientists or industries use specific bioreactor for their application. The first one is stirred tank bioreactor, which is also known as continuous stirred tank bioreactor. This type of bioreactor has a classical design where a cylindrical vessel made up of glass or stainless steel is used. The central axis of this vessel contains a shaft which has impellers. This shaft is connected with an electric motor. When switched on, the function of the impeller is to provide mechanical mixing of solution which is filled in this bioreactor. Now, continuous mixing of solution might result in the formation of vortex in the bioreactor. To avoid this, the reactor is equipped with baffles. The baffles prevents vortex formation and increases the turbulence which results in better mixing of the components present inside the bioreactor. The reactor may also possess a device used to introduce air bubbles from the bottom. This device is known as sparger. Next is air lift bioreactor. Look at these words and try to understand the meaning from this. Air lift bioreactor. In this type of bioreactor, we use air bubbles to bring the inner solution in motion. The bioreactor is divided into two parts. In one part, the air is introduced using a sparger at the bottom. Because of air bubbles, the solution will move up in this column. Hence, this column is known as the riser column. The other part of column is the one where the solution is coming down. Hence, this is known as the downcomer column. It's easy to remember. One is the riser and the other one is downcomer column. Then we have bioreactor which is known as bubble column reactor. This is a simplified version of air lift bioreactor. In this, we do not have the riser and the downcomer column. Instead, the whole cylindrical column has a sparger at the bottom. When the air bubbles are introduced, as the bubbles moves up, everything in the bioreactor gets mixed. The next one is PET bead bioreactor. Again, pay attention to the word. It says packed bead. So in this type of bioreactor, it is filled with tiny beads which has immobilized cells or enzyme. And this whole bioreactor is completely packed with such tiny beads. When the solution is passed, the liquid moves around the surface of each bead. The liquid as the substrate which will diffuse inside the bead. The cells or enzyme in the bead will carry out the reaction and form the final product. This product diffuses out from the bead and gets collected in the liquid that is flowing. Finally, the liquid with our desired product is collected. Fluidized bead reactor in this type of bioreactor, the beads having cells or enzyme remains suspended in the liquid. The liquid in the bioreactor is allowed to flow upwards in order to ensure continuous mixing of beads inside the reactor. Then you have photobioreactor. These are the special type of bioreactor used for the cultivation of microalgae.